this module, uh, we are going to be uh, seeing the different type of uh, editors that could be used on a Linux system. So, typically why would we need uh, to use an editor? So, editor software uh, or editor application is something that will be required for you to uh, edit the data that you would possibly be programming or, or scripting. So, later on in the course uh, when we look at uh, how we can actually develop shell scripts, uh, you would need to use an editor uh, for you to uh, uh, code the, the script appropriately, uh, save it in the editor and then uh, um, after you save it in the editor and come out into the command prompt, you can actually go ahead and execute the script. So, there are different type of editors that are typically used on the Linux system. Um, so, we will take a very quick look at some of the most commonly used ones. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of documentation also available for that uh, which would be very handy for you to get an understanding of how to use the editor. But predominantly uh, the editor is, is an is a application that is really required for you to uh, do the first level of coding. Uh, then for subsequent uh, modifications like maybe adding uh, more lines of code or uh, deleting the existing lines of code or changing the, uh, the lines of code. Uh, you would actually need to use the editor. So, you have different types of editor that is available uh, uh, like an nedit or a gedit, emacs, uh, you have a vi or a vim, you have nano. So, you have different type of editors that is actually available. So, uh, nedit text editor uh, is something that uh, is very, very simple to make use of uh, uh, without uh, too much of sophisticated uh, features that is actually available. Uh, uh, it actually does the basic job uh, very clearly. Uh, so, it's, it's, it uh, helps you to basically select the text uh, very easily and then sort of select them for moving it into a different location uh, within the same file. Uh, it also tries to highlight the syntaxes for most of the uh, programming languages and formats. So, uh, when we know that uh, we are expecting a particular uh, color or a particular format to be uh, uh, accepted in that particular programming language. Uh, we would really be expecting the editor to be showing it in a particular color and if we do not see that color when we are editing the file, we know that uh, we have actually uh, made some mistake which needs to be corrected before uh, that particular file or script gets successfully executed. So, there are also different menus that are actually available with this and uh, that also comes in handy to customize the behavior uh, to suit our needs. So, this is just a screenshot of how uh, the nedit uh, uh, basically looks like uh, when you edit the file. So, you have a search uh, uh, option available here uh, which you can make use of to search for different strings. So, a different type of uh, uh, customizations could be actually set here uh, as part of enabling the, uh, the preferences uh, submenu. Uh, likewise, you have uh, 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 pretty uh, simple uh, features that you would need to make use of from an editor at a very, very basic uh, level. So, the next comes uh, Emacs uh, and uh, the X version that is the version with uh, uh, X window support is called as an X Emacs. Uh, these are very, very powerful uh, editor uh, tools uh, and uh, you could actually do lot of uh, uh, sophisticated editing functionalities with this uh, tool. Uh, it just that it is little bit uh, cryptic uh, to make use of and unless and until uh, we get used to this editor over a period of time. Uh, we will not be able to leverage the complete uh, uh, sophisticated set of functionalities that this editor actually uh, provides us. So, there are a lot of uh, shortcut uh, keys that are again possible uh, which will help us to quickly do the different kind of editing operations that we would need to do uh, in the Emacs uh, editor. So, then you have a gedit uh, which is very similar to uh, our uh, nedit and you also have uh, uh, something called as a kit uh, which is again a very powerful uh, text editor. Uh, with all these editors have some minor differences here and there, uh, but essentially all of them help you to sort of edit a file. Uh, so, edit a file here would be uh, creating the file in uh, data in the file from scratch and also at the same time uh, modifying the contents uh, uh, whatever was actually uh, supposed to be uh, uh, present there and uh, also whatever needs to be corrected uh, in the existing uh, file. Then uh, uh, the most common editor uh, that is sort of uh, used by the maximum number of people uh, today in the Unix world 
is what is called as a VI or the VIM that is basically the improved uh, VI. So, it is a, a text mode a text editor uh, available in all kinds of Unix systems uh, irrespective of the Unix flavor or the Unix distribution. It is sort of like sort of a dif little difficult for the beginners to learn uh, like our Emacs editor uh, it is a uh, little bit uh, uh, cryptic uh, in nature uh, with too many shortcut key combinations and everything. But uh, the, the main advantage with that is uh, the kind of uh, advanced features editing features that you could do uh, for example, trying to copy from copy a set of lines from one file to another file at the same time uh, uh, trying to uh, run different kind of shell commands inside my editor. Uh, trying to uh, map up certain uh, keys in the keyboard to doing a very complex editing operations. Like these, uh, I have different ways by which we could do a lot of uh, very powerful uh, editing operations in this editor. And uh, th for that simple reason, uh, this editor is actually very, very productive for users who want to uh, be extremely quick in editing and then uh, um, uh, completing the assigned uh, job. But the, the flip side is that uh, because of the uh, so many different features that is actually available, if you have to uh, sort of leverage on the entire set of functionality and use its full power, uh, it, it will take time for a user to become an expert user on the VI, uh, but once they become very uh, uh, comfortable with it, uh, users uh, will find it uh, extremely handy for getting their job done uh, pretty quickly. So, VIM is basically an improved version of VI uh, uh, typically found in most of the GNU uh, Linux host based systems. Uh, it uh, has a lot of uh, functionality that uh, could be done uh, with the windowing mechanism like for example, the syntax highlighting having an unlimited number of undo operations. So, undo operation here is uh, if I want to basically revoke whatever I had actually uh, typed in the last time from the, from the, the previous uh, uh, insertion mode, um, I could actually do an undo and in the older versions of VI, uh, there were certain only a limited number of undo operations that I could basically revoke back. Whereas, with something like the VIM which is the improved version of the VI, uh, I could actually keep doing sort of undoing all the kind of uh, changes that I had done till now. So, I could actually uh, open up a, a compressed uh, text file also uh, directly when I use the VIM because it detects uh, what is the kind of compression that has been done on that file does the uncompression of it and then opens up opens the file uh, uh, directly. So, there are uh, a very common set of commands that uh, you would typically need to make use of and this uh, uh, set of uh, basic commands is actually available here. Uh, if uh, uh, you need to have this as a sort of a cheat sheet, uh, the same uh, documentation will also be available as a, uh, a cheat sheet in this particular URL that is actually uh, mentioned in this particular slide. So, with the VI, uh, I could actually, I typically have two different uh, modes, uh, what is called as an escape or a command mode, uh, in which every character that I type on my keyboard uh, in the escape or the command mode is actually treated by the VI as a command for itself. And then uh, the second mode is what is called as an insertion or an append mode, where whatever type whatever is actually typed in the keyboard in this particular mode uh, is actually going in as part of the data of that file that is getting currently edited, right. So, VI basically operates in these two modes, uh, one mode which is the escape of the command mode uh, in which I basically give commands uh, to the VI editor to make it behave in a particular format as per my requirement at that instant of time. The second mode is basically the insertion or the appending mode. Uh, where everything that I type in this mode is actually treated by the VI to be made as part of the data of that particular file. So, uh, when I am in the escape mode, I could basically give it instruction to insert characters in the current position, uh, insert a new line either after the current line in which the cursor is present or before the current line the, per, uh, the cursor is present. Uh, I could uh, basically uh, Yank, yank in VI terminology really means copying. So, I could yank and paste the contents of whatever I had copied into another location either in the same file or in a different file, right. Uh, so, like this uh, we have uh, different kind of uh, options uh, that are possible. Um, I could actually do a search and a replace uh, wherein I will be able to uh, uh, quickly find out a particular string and sort of replace that particular string with another string pattern uh, 
uh, either from a particular line number to another particular line number inside the file or I could also go ahead and do it uh, globally across the entire file. So, like this uh, I have a mechanism by which I will be able to do all the kind of basic editing operations as well as very uh, complicated editing operations uh, uh, inside the VI editor. Likewise, I could for example, run a command uh, inside my VI editor that command will actually be run uh, in a temporary shell that is created and then so I would be able to actually go ahead and replace the content uh, uh, either in a portion of uh, the file uh, or from the last line to the last line. So, likewise uh, uh, we will actually uh, uh, have a huge set of both basic operations as well as very uh, complicated operations that I could do for the editing point of view by using the VI uh, uh, command as the as my preferred uh, editor. Thank you.